Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 59. The question says which function represents the pattern shown in the table? Now, I could try to derive the function rule just by using the information that I can figure out. I know that 9 is a square, so if I squared I take the square root of 9 for instance, I'd get 3. If I did the same thing to 36, I'd get 6. I did the other one, I'd get 12, then 24, and then 48. Now, the idea here would be that uh, everything works out and then I could figure it out in the long term. Uh, in actuality, it's much easier just to plug in your n values and see if you get f of n. That would be very helpful. So what I'm going to do instead is just plug things into the calculator and see if I can get the results that I expect to get when I plug them in. So for instance, when I plug in the first one, I should expect to get 9. So when I plug in 1 here, 9 times 1 squared, I get 9. So I plugged in 1 and I got 9 just like it says. So that that's a good sign. So I do 9 times 2 squared. I get 36, so that's looking good. And then I do 9 times 3 squared, and I get 81. But what I'm supposed to get when I plug in 3 for this n right here is 144. So I know that this is not the correct answer. I can mark that out. The next one I'm going to look at is uh, b. So I'll do 9 times 4 to the first power because it says to plug in n as the exponent. It gives me 36. So when I plugged in 1, I was supposed to get 9. But instead, when I plugged in 1, sorry about that, when I plugged in 1, I got 36, which means something went terribly wrong in my assessment of that situation. So I can mark that one out as well. For the next one, I have uh, 4 times 9 raised to the n minus 1. So I'm going to do 4 times 9 raised, and when you do it in the calculator, whatever you, if you have a subtraction problem up here, you need to put this part in parentheses, which is why I didn't use parentheses here. 1 minus 1, well I know 1 minus 1 is 0, so 9 to the 0 power should be 1, so I should do times 4, and get 4. But I'm not supposed to get 4, I'm supposed to get 9. So the very likely answer to this question is D, so I'm going to check and see if it is. So I'll do 9 times 4 and it says n minus 1, so I need to do n minus 1. And I forgot to put those in parentheses, even though I told you to do that like two seconds ago. So I get 9, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to try the next one, 9 times 4, and then I'm going to do 2 minus 1. I get 36 just like I'm supposed to. Now I'm going to try to see if, and I'm actually sort of hoping, that the uh, third one works as well. 3 minus 1. And it does. So I'm going to skip to the fifth one just to see. So it's 9 times 4 raised to the 5 minus 1. And when I plugged in 5, I got 2,304, and that's the exact answer I'm supposed to get. So I can say with reasonable confidence that the answer to number 59 is D. So just take your information, plug in your N, see if you get the F of N you're looking for, and you should come out just fine.